you really have to have some combination. So from the contribution point of view, first of all, you have to have rules and regulations. Uh, this is this is called xin. Uh, people can be punished. You know, there's a job description what you ought to, ought to do. But this is not enough. The company will not flourish. Uh, you have to develop another mechanism to help people to feel they are part of the company. So they, uh, you know, for, for a long time, the, the uh, discussion between American company and the Japanese company uh, is based upon this. Right now, the, both uh, both companies are in trouble, so we we, we have to develop some kind of new mechanism of understanding. Now, let me uh, just make uh, um, one conclusion. For, for you to think about. Uh, in uh, the ideas themselves on the surface are just ideas for us to discuss, for us to uh, debate and argue. But each idea has its own consequence, and that consequence can be very positive, can be very negative. So we have to take ideas, even even ideals, not just ideas, and ideas very, very serious. If a society doesn't have ideals, uh, not to mention you with I without ideas, if you have a company with the, the CEO doesn't know uh, what's going on, you're in major trouble. Let's say in a society, I, I may have used this uh, example before, like uh, American society. Ever since Jefferson, there's a, a deep-rooted conviction that all men are created equal. That's why you have the human rights idea, you have all kinds of other ideas. But in actuality, that's not the case at all, right? Because slavery continued in America for so long, and we realized Jefferson was a slave owner. And Jefferson had a very low opinion about slaves. And Jefferson, you know, very, very much like the French, uh, members of the French aristocracy, it's very learned. And yet that ideal, that ideal, the idea that all men are created equal, has become so powerful in American society, even though in the first first century, with the slavery and so forth, it was compromised. Lincoln, of course, that's a different period. But without that notion about all men are created equal, the uh, civil rights movement could not be easily developed. You know, Martin Luther King was able to appear to Lincoln, also appear to this idea. If you have a culture without these kind of ideals, then these actions are not even possible. They're not even possible. You cannot even imagine the possibility of these kind of situations. Uh, that's the importance of, uh, let's say, of ideas. Now have a nice uh, spring break. Some of you will go to Egypt, and uh, yeah, our friend will go to Egypt. And uh, any of you will go very far. No, some of you go to. Uh, go to Massachusetts, other side of Massachusetts. <laughs> I'll be in China. <laughs> oh, nice. great. So if I come back and uh, half asleep, uh, let's time you know it's a jet lag. It's not because I'm not enthusiastic. <laughs>